Shabbat Shalom Israel, no matter where you are, this is the time to close the Sabbath day of Yahweh. This is for the true tribe of Israel, no matter where you are, to come in together and to thanks Abba Yahweh for the set apart day. To glorify Yahweh, to steam Yahweh, to give honor, and to thanks up by Yahweh for his a beautiful day. Shabbat shalom, my dear. Shalom alaykum. Peace be today. This is the time for the children of Israel to come together. And to ask Abba Yahweh blessing for the week to come. And to ask in Abba Yahweh for guidance. To ask in Abba Yahweh to provide for them for the week to come. Without Abba Yahweh guidance. Without Abba Yahweh mercy. Without Abba Yahweh grace. We're not going to be able to make it. Let's us be rejoice. Let's us be rejoice in Yahweh. So the part this. Let's let be thanks up by Yahweh for whatever the circumstances. Let's us be grateful to our by Yahweh. Let's us be faithful to our by Yahweh for once of all times. And let's us give praise and thanks to our by Yahweh. For his beautiful Saturday, day, for his beautiful Sabbath day. Some of you might be not get that in consideration, but my friends, this is a very beautiful, wonderful Sabbath day. This is. Yes! Come out of my people. of Israel, the tribe of Israel, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, this is the time now to get up and praise up by your way. If you are driving, put the car, park the car on the side. No matter where you are, it is the time now to praise up by your way. That's usually why up by your way I give you the days to celebrate today. Of her. The pagan system, the pagan double, the pagan evil, the pagan demonic ways. Come on, children of Israel. No matter where you are on the four corner of the earth. Let's take in the Dua, let's take in Yahshua to all over the earth. Let people know Yahshua is the only way. Yahshua Amashia. If you are in captivity, there's only one person who can take you. Set you free is only Yahshua Israel. Do not reject it, your king. Yahshua is your king, Israel. Don't follow the Jewish rebels. We are Israel. Are you are Israel? If you are Israel, you do not acknowledge Yahshua. You are in deep problem. Yahshua is the only way to Yahweh. There is no other way. <laughs> Don't be deceiving yourself, my friend. Don't waste of your time. Sing hallelujah to Yahweh. Israel, no matter where you are.
King of Israel. Komm euch nach Israel. Come out of her. It is the time now for the children of Israel to stop by confusing themselves. It is the time for the children of Israel to acknowledge Yeshua Amashiach is the only way. Come on, hey. Open up the door and let the King of Israel come in. Mr. Yeshua said, I stand up at the front of the door and knock in. If everyone hear my voice and open up the door, I will open. I will sit down, I will dinner with them, and I will be with them forever. If you reject Yahshua in your life, you reject it salvation. Stop by following those blind Jewish people. It is a time now to follow the word of Abba Yahweh. The Jewish people don't do anything for Abba Yahweh. They don't call Yahweh by his name. You do not acknowledge Yahshua as a Mashiach, you follow them, you're going to fall at the same day. If your elders do not believe in Yahshua, stay away from them. Whoever doesn't believe in Yahshua as the only way to Yahweh, Stay away from them. Don't even associate with those people. It is a time for the children of Israel to come out from the pagans holidays, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth. I am Messenger Daniel. It is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. Say Shalom Alehem and peace been today. Shabbat Shalom Israel. This is the time now to close up by Yahweh. Let's walk and walk just that Yahshua walk. If you take Araya Wawashai Wawashi, you gonna save you? You are going to hell with Satan. Salvation comes only to Yahshua Amashiach. There is no other name to give above. Any man can receive salvation. Yahshua, Yahweh salvation. Yahawa cannot mean Yahweh salvation. Yahweh should not mean Yahweh salvation. About Jesus, about Jesus, about Jehovah, do not mean Yahweh salvation. Let's raise Yahshua al The only way to reconcile to Abba Yahweh is only to Yahshua al Bless, bless the name of Yahweh. Where are the children of Israel? List the Bible. Bless in the name of Yahweh, my boy. <laughs> if you don't have your seat belt, you better put your seat belt. The flyer we're gonna take off pretty soon. What is the importance of a mother? Why you should be love your mother? Why you should be honor your mother? Stay tuned to find out. Are you gonna walk just like Yahshua was walking? He was on the foot of the earth. Are you gonna be follow? You gonna follow Yahshua or you gonna be follow men made traditions? Remember, many are called, but only if you are chosen, my friend. Are you going to live? 
Are you gonna follow the footsteps of Yahshua? You're gonna walk for the two who walk. That's not walking by the flesh. But let us walk in by the Huaha Kodesh. Stop walking by sight. It is a time now to stop by walking by faith. Faith is the substance of a life. Come on, the children of Israel, no matter where you are tonight. It's the time to acknowledge Yahshua as your king. Yahshua as the only savior. Yahshua is the only way to Abba Yahweh. If there is no Yahshua, there is no Yahweh. Is it time now for the children of Israel, no matter where you are, get up and come on. Let's praise Abba Yahweh. Let's give Abba Yahweh what is belong to him. Are you give to Caesar what is belong to Caesar? So now is the time to give Abba Yahweh what is belong to him. Are you a religion of Israel? Are you a the fake one? It's not all descended of Israel who are Israel anyway. <laughs> Now is the time. Now is the time. Not tomorrow, not later. Praise Yahshua Amashiach. Yes. The name one day. Every knee shall bow. Every time some confess that Yahshua is Yahweh. Yahshua. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Oh yes, hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. <laughs> yes. Where are the children of Israel who are on the four corner of the earth? To the twelve tribe of Israel, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, it is a time to acknowledge Yahshua is the only way. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh is not the way, my friend. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now, 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 not tomorrow. Now, don't let the time pass by, my friend. Stop wasting of your time. Is it time to acknowledge Yahshua? Yahshua stands at the door of your door, knocking. If you have the spiritual ears to hear, Open up the door, let Yahshua in to your life. Without Yahshua in your life, you can do nothing. If we take Yahweh, Wawashi, Allah, Buddha, Jehovah, Jesus, God can do something for you, good luck. Call upon your God, and I will call upon Yahshua Amashiach again. Let's see. Let's challenge each other. Let's see if your blind God, the blind God you have served, can save you. Jesus cannot save you. Jesus can not even save himself. How can he save you? the time for the children of Israel to have a salvation in Yahshua Amashiach. What is the importance of a mother? Do you know the value of a mother? Why you must be honored and respect and love your mother? Yes, 
sua amácia. If you are not believing Yeshua, you are wasting of your time, my friend. No matter what you're doing, I'm telling you, you're going to be in vain. Yeshua is the only way. Come on. Are you are Israel. We are. Are you are Israel? Or you are black Hebrew Israelite? Nowhere on the scripture refer to black Hebrew Israelites or to the Jewish or to the Jehovah Witness or to the Christianity or to the seven days Adventist the bigger deceptions. We are Bene Israel. You don't see black, you don't see Jewish, you don't see Jehovah Witness. You don't say Muslim. Oh, then, on the nation. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Uh -huh. Yahshua, Yahweh salvation. Hallelujah. Stop by wasting your time, my friend. If you are really been Israel, those Yahweh chosen, not the ones who are called, but those who are chosen. Those are by we call out of the darkness. Yahshua is the only lie. Yahshua is the only way. Come on. Come on. Yes. One, two. Uh-huh. Yahshua. Yahweh. Salvation. Because his name is character and everything. <laughs> What Yahweh mean? What Yahweh she mean? What Adonai mean? Who is Adonai? Who is Jehovah? Who is Allah? Who is Buddha? Yahshua, the only way. <laughs> Without Yahshua, you go on to hell with Satan. I cannot lead another blind. Remember that. <laughs> if you follow a blind, my friends, you're both gonna fall at the same ditch. If your pastor is blind, you follow your pastors, you and your pastor will fall at the same ditch. If your elders is blind, you follow your elders, you're gonna be fall at the same ditch. It is a time now to follow. Yahshua Amasya. Yahawa is blind. Yahwashi is blind. Jehovah is blind. Jesus is blind. Don't even think about God. God is not even nothing. God is Satan. Are you are aware to not be a slayer? Remember, Esau and Jacob, they are twin brothers. Abaya, we receive one. And we seek one. It's not all the descent of Israel who are Israel. Esau is not of the tribe of Israel. <laughs> Ismael is not of the tribe of Israel. Think about that. For all those who think you are an Israelite, you are not. An Israelite is not according to your skin color, it's according to your faith. Uh -huh. What do you say? What do you say? Uh huh. Your people. Really? Let them know what the word say. The word say we are Israel, not black Hebrew Israelites or Muslim. 
or Christianity or Seven Days Adventist, the bigger deception of this world. Oh yes, are you are uh, from the roots of Ezesi. Ah, 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 ah. The voice of Lawid, Yeshua, Amashia. Oh yes, the only name. We are not black, Hebrews, why not? Not Jewish, not Christianity, not Christians, not Baptists. But we are Israel. Yahakov who become Israel. Not a state of Israel. <laughs> Another deception. Not the state of Israel. <laughs> the children, the Bene Israel. There is a big difference between the state of Israel and the children of Israel. Yahakov. Yahweh changed his name to Israel. Yes, Adam Nelson, Yahshua, Yahweh salvation. Oh yes, hallelujah. Bene Israel. <laughs> if kingdom divide against kingdom cannot be stand. If we divide among ourselves, we cannot stand. Oh yes, thank you Abba Yahweh for the opportunity Abba Yahweh to welcome your Sabbath day and to come and to close your Sabbath day with strong mercy, with strong grace. Abba Yahweh, thank you. It's the time for us to come together and to welcome your set apart day. Now we're going to close your set apart day with gladness and joy to renew our strength, our spirit. To give us courage, strength, with helps and guidance, and to provide for us for the new week to come. Abba Yahweh, thank you for all the viewers, for all my brothers and sisters, my brothers Israelites, no matter where you are on the four corners of the earth, may Abba Yahweh blessing be upon you. <laughs> Abba Yahweh, thank you for everything you bring us to this time, Abba Yahweh. And for, to, for all those Abba Yahweh, who are willing to be obedient, to obey your commandments. For all those Abba Yahweh who never know about your Sabbath day. Just like at one point I never know about Sabbath. But you teach them your way, not the way those elders, those imposters are teach them. But the way you want your people to know about how to obey your words. Especially your Sabbath day. Abaya, we I thank you so much to bring us together again this afternoon. To get it together, Abaya, way to close your Sabbath day, your Sleepout day. The day you are blessing because of us. The day you take your independence. The day you finish all your equations and you take a rest, you refresh. Abaya, we the same thing I ask you, Abaya, way to renew our week to come. And, and to protect every single one who are yours, even those who are here, even those who do not hear you, Abba Yahweh, but you know those who already belong to you. Abba Yahweh, if it is by your way, please let your will be done on earth as it is right now in paradise. All the angels, they are praising Yahweh. They are worship Yahweh. They give thanks to Yahweh always. Because Yahweh mercy forever under. But for mankind only few. But that's the way it's going to be. When we say, I say many are called. But only few are chosen. Abba Yahweh, the, the few you are chosen. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you to hold them. In your path of your hands. And let the nobody snatch them out of your hand. Abba Yahweh, I'm in your hands. Take over. 
and start your service the way you want it to be. And Abaya will lead your service. Not by my mind, not by my power, but by Yahuwah Hakodesh, by Yeshua Spirit. Abba Yahweh, we come before you and order Abba Yahweh to ask you to provide for us, to protect us, and to thank you, and to let your people know about the truth, about your revelations, what you revealed to your servant, to your messenger, and not to those imposters who teach the wrong way, who mislead your people, who lie to them, who deceive them. Abba Yahweh, thank you. And may your will be done in the name of Yeshua, Amasia. So, my brethren, my Israel brothers and sisters, no matter where you are tonight, humanity has been deceived for almost 2,000 years of religion deceptions. For many rabbis and pastors and ministers and elders, knowing the truth, but I refuse to teach the mass. As we come to more to our understanding, Yahweh mother days or pagans are the days. Does this scripture teach that there were a specific day Abaya we made for mother days? If there is a mother day, which day should the children of Israel observe? Most people never reflect on why they believe, why they believe or do what they do. In a world filled with popular pagan customs and traditions, few ever to understand the origins of things. Most generally accept common religions, practice without questions, choosing to do what everyone practice the pagans because it is easy, natural, and comfortable, they can be in the ship. Most follow along at the earth to be taught, assuming with the belief as the do is right. They take their beliefs for granted and never take time to prove them. When the scriptures say proof, all things. Nowhere in this module and the old service of modern day, many billions of people keep the second Sunday of the month of the May without knowing why or where they originated. Must suppose that they are found on the scripture because they see billions of professing Christians observe Mother Day. Surely, billions of people cannot be wrong or can they? The book of Mark, 7 chapter, it's 7 verse 9. Hear what Messiah Shua said 2,000 years ago about the popular custom and traditions of this world. And then do the worship me, teaching the tradition, the commitment of men. Full well, you rejected the commitment of Yahweh, your creator, that you may obey your own tradition as modern day. The scripture do not in fact mention modern day, but it mentions to honor your mother and your father. 
that's only one scripture with a promise if you honor you respect your mother you love them you will live long good and respect it but and brightly condemned such a custom the proof is overwhelming that the day is a tradition of commitment of men but vast multitudes obey them anyway because they don't care seemingly custom to another mother days and My brothers and sisters, since the scripture condemned those almost mystery observe Christianity holidays of men, how did they come into popular practice? You must be willing to open your scripture and honestly accept it what he say about mother days. In the book of Jeremiah 12, chapter, 10, chapter verse 2, state that you must not follow the way of the heathens. Do not practice what they practice. For the customs are worthless. The majority of people sadly defend what they have merely assume is right or is scriptural they will read with prejudice anything that contradicts the assumptions brothers and sisters these scriptures are yahweh inspired words are by our instruction book to mankind the scripture rewards every important questions in life and explain how to live. The scripture reveals the word of salvation, not the word to destruction or to eternal destruction. Second Timothy 2 chapter verse 15 statement. Study to show that self approve into Yahweh. Study that self. To show yourself approve into Yahweh. A workman do not be ashamed and approve into Yahweh. To that expected now with our Sudet. We can act on it. Prosperous scripture is strictly lead to approve from Yahweh. Both the Old and the Winyo Testament this state that men should not live only by bread alone, but by every word proceed from the mouth of Yahweh, for the Yahweh I spoke in it. Paul explained that people are to be servant or whatever they choose to be. They only know you know that you want you yell. You yourself servant to obey a servant you are to whom you obey. Whatever is sent or dead of an observance into righteousness, into righteousness. People either serve and obey Yahweh and I give him eternal life, or they serve and obey sin and earn an eternal death. Remember Romans 6 chapter verse 20 said that for the ways of sin is death. 
But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life. If Abba Yahweh once commanded that mother must be kept on the second Sunday of the month of Abba, on the month of May, no. Then you soon come out certainly why you choose to observe them. No matter how comfortable a lifelong practice, maybe should you not be based in your decisions to continue doing what is wrong. On proof, First Thessalonians 5, chapter 21 stated, You must prove all things. In hard evidence, instead of assumptions of your own wicked desire. As a 66 chapter verse 2, Yahweh say to this man with a cloak, even to that is poor, a contrite spirit, and tremble at my words, and prove what is the good an acceptable and perfect will of Abba Yahweh. Will you sincerely, with an open mind, seek and tremble before the truth of Yahweh's words about mother days? Or will you go along with the mass and the tradition of men, the pagans, Holidays. The scripture said to honor your mother and your father. He said, Why? For your days, your days might be more longer. You might be live a long life. But today, honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land that Yahweh, your creator, is giving you. According to the book of Exodus 20, chapter verse 12, that is the fifth commandment by Yahweh has given to the children of Israel over 3,500 years ago. Halfway through, the Ten Commandments, Yahweh instruct his people to honor their fathers and mothers. Peter repeat in Ephesians 6, chapter verse 1, Children, obey your parents and Yahweh, for this is right. Yahweh knows we are incapable of following his commandments and to make a way for us to be forever forgiven by Yahshua Amasiak, the dirt on the stake, believe in Yahshua, save us not following the words. So what then in the purpose of common church as honor your mother and your father and our new and an old covenant lives? It is out of Yahweh perspectives and provisional love for us that command like this continue to act as a gradual to fold life of Yahshua dead to give us life. What does honor mean in the scripture? The potential definition of all testaments honor the Hebrew word kabod, mean heavy or weightly to honor someone, then is to give weight of grant a person's of positions respect and even authority of one life in the context of Exodus 20 chapter verse 12 it mean to prize highly care for show respect for and obey the difference between honor obedience and respect Respect and obedience are actions and inflection that reflect honor. 
why on earth is an eternal attitude of respect. Courtesy and reverence, it should be accompanied by appropriate attention or even obedience. Abba will create us and intend for us to annoy him and through all we do, we obey out of reverence of love and choice and our sovereign's father. Deflecting the admonishment of respect and deference to honoring Yahweh and not choice are by our sovereigns. And believe he who is a say he is and humbly and awfully reflect as Yahshua Amashiach let life integrity. Consistent behavior of the mind, regardless of situation of audience, it is a continual choice to live and honor and the one from whom life originated. Where does the scripture talk about honoring your mother and father? Honor your father and mother is mentioned twice in the Old Testament. In the book of Exodus 20, chapter verse 12, and the book of Deuteronomy 5, chapter verse 16. And six times on the New Testament, in Matthew 15, chapter verse 4, Matthew 19, 19, Mark 7, chapter verse 10, Mark 10, chapter verse 19, Luke 18, chapter verse 20, Ephesians 6, chapter verse 2. Originally appearing in Exodus as Moshe introduced the Ten Commandments to Yahweh people, the commandment again repeated. And Deuteronomy 5, chapter verse 16. In ancient time and even culture today, deceased ancestors were honoring and Israel to honor due to parents and definitely covenant contents. My friends, Paul say, honor your father and your mother at the first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you that you may be enjoy long life. And know your mother and your father. When you respect your mother and your father, what you receive, you receive a long life as a reward. But if you don't, your life will be cut short on earth. When Paul wrote this word, the covenantal promise of occupying the land, Yahweh has prepared to them has already come to pass. So why will Paul repeat it? Why it is important for us and the Renew Testament to believe, to remember, to honor your mother and your father. The entire Old Testament and the story of Yahshua, the entire Bible point to Yahshua and he was as his chosen adopted people look forward to the promise of his return. In the book of Ephesians 6 chapter verse 4, Father, do not Exact spirit your children and set bring them up in the training of instructions of Yahweh. We are to bypass our grieving for respect and authority to give all honor to Yahweh. Our children at first and foremost is, and start to remember, we are first foremost Yahweh as well. My beloved. What does this scripture mean by mother and father? When Yahweh issued his commandment to Moses at Mount Sinai over 3,500 years ago, he demonstrates his sovereign plan for real relationship. And just as we are to honor the one who created us, your mother, we, we, Yahweh created us, we honor Yahweh. We are also to honor those who were choosing to carry out Yahweh plan for our creations, father and mother. They would carry, your mother carry you for nine months. This is Yahweh plan. Because Yahweh creates you, but it choose your mother. It choose your father to put you in your mother womb. That's the reason why 
you must honor, you must respect and love your mother and your father. If you don't have any respect for your mother and your father, if you don't have any love, you don't honor them, you don't respect them, that means you don't respect Yahweh either. And you don't have any love for Abba Yahweh either. When Yahweh issued this commitment to Moses at Mount Sinai over 3,500 years ago, Yahweh demonstrated his sovereign plan for we relationship and just as we are to honor the one who created us, Yahweh, so we are to honor those who were chosen to carry out Yahweh, Abba Yahweh plan for our creations, our fathers and mothers. In the world, reader, we broken mayas and pieces together. Family, it is more important than ever to stop pointing fingers and start embracing our Yahweh commitment to honor its order. Many of us are fathers and mothers, either by blood or by adoptions. If we are caring for someone or the us, we are to honor them no matter what. Abba is say above all, us to love him and each of them to love our neighbors as ourselves. We all know what it is like to be a child. Many of us know what it is like to be a parent or a caregiver. I believe this commitment was so important to Abba Yahweh because we are so important to Abba Yahweh. Family is important to Abba Yahweh. We are Abba Yahweh family when we honor our family. It is a direct reflection of our Yahweh love us often dysfunctional and broken Yahweh love us. Should the verse annoy your mother and your father be taken literally? Messiah Shua obedience to his parents challenge the insecurities and us that often make us averse to submit and obey according to this article of desiring Yahweh. When Messiah Shua came to earth, he lived the example we are to follow. Messiah Shua obey his parents. And we took the book of Luke to chapter Verse 51. If Abba will make men obey Joseph and Mary, we too should strive to honor and respect and love our parents. The ultimate submission was to Abba Yahweh a second submission to Joseph and Mary. Because his father said, annoy you father and your mother we honor our parents through our choice and yahweh whose authority trump all and protections and compassionate care uphold us when those we honor treating to get this one who is supposed to do the honoring it is impossible for any one of us to be exempt from this commitment. Even those of us who have not known our maternal mother and father, as caregivers who have adopted us into this life, we honor them. We all look to those who have gone before us and done the best they knew to do. Believers or not, our obedience to honor our parents is part of Yahba Yahweh eternal plan for your mother and your father to bring you into this earth. Whether we are children or adult, we are honor our parents. Children are taught to honor their parents by the basic lesson of discipline and obedience. 
with entire blossom into respect as we are able to see and experience the wisdom. Eventually, we honor them out of love and choice, remembering how they have provided for us throughout our lives to the best of their human ability. And every fallen world choosing to see the best in them, even after the time end and this life, always be honored them and love them. Why should we honor our parents? I by our way, we pitch Yahweh wants us to pay a specific attention to the commitment to honor our fathers and mother. It's important to our by Yahweh, and so I must hold in high continent in our mind the relationship with our parents. It's so significant that is the first earthly relationship addresses it and the commitments. It is the only one come with the blessing from Abba Yahweh. We often question why Yahweh is not afraid of our questions. And I believe when we struggle to understand why we must honor and respect and love our parents, whether we are young or old, we can take the burden to Yahweh and confidence that Abba Yahweh understand the difficulty we face in living out these commandments. When we ask him for help, he is faithful. Are a Christian supposed to carry out this comment? My friends, the scripture talking about the student of Israel. More than a list of does and don'ts, the commandment tells us how to honor worship Yahweh, which teach us how to love, to respect others, like our parents. We say as our led life is led by our by our word. It is by his truth and through Messiah Yahshua, grace and mercy to a prayerful, prayerful relations with him that we navigate the waters of this world and are able to uphold his coming. They are gradually a life preserved, not a standard with much achieve and wait. They exit out of love to help us live life to the full of measure. The commitment show us the way to live, the way to love our neighbors, and the way to love Abba Yahweh with all our mind and our soul. According to this article, from the Good News Coalition to the Daily Prayer of Times and Abba Yahweh words, and by following the Seyashua example, we can honor our parents. One of the most powerful and endless ways we can honor our parents. Besides giving them our respect and obedience, it is to choose to forgive for words. If valuable lessons to enter to us as we will watch ourselves make mistake we saw we will never make. We all fall short from the steam of Abba Yahweh because of listening to people to make a mistake we don't supposed to be. Choose to angry parents and caregivers and everyday life. Take time to reconnect and keep in touch. Care for your parents and they grow old. Speak hardly of them for going any focus on negative aspects of the character. Few of us come from a perfectly happy family, but facing tough circumstances and not giving up of the people Abayawe has placed in our life under Abayawe. My brothers and sisters, most of us have a complaint of two about our parents. None were perfect, 
and many care scares from this childhood. I by our command to honor our father and our mother. Teach us to choose our by our way to ultimately defend our protectors. Parents and perfect. Yet we can choose to honor them anyway. Trusting we have been placed in the care by our almighty creator Yahweh for a purpose. Abayawi does not make mistake. If Abayawi choose your mother and your father, no matter who you think you are, you must respect and honor your mother and your father. In our foreign world, many of us will endure high headache and injustice at the end of the very people that we are supposed to honor and choose. Abayawi certainly does not want us to remain in abusive situations. Abayawi is compassionate mind for us. When we suffer at the end of injustice, we should do all we can to remove ourselves from last threatening situations and reach out to others, cut and search a crossfire as well. Humanity is falling. The world is at war between good and evil that we cannot see with visible eyes, but no exists according to Yahweh word. We honor our parents by releasing judgment for their behavior to our judges. Abaya will, will defend and protect us with mercy and compassion. Abayah will tell us, Yahweh will bless us as we honor our parents. Consider how you might honor your parents, no matter how you have been raised. This may be seem like a huge challenge, yet it is one I believe Yahweh will bless you if you honor and if you never disrespect your mother and your father. Parenting is humbling. At times, we as parents feel helpless to our own fault. We know we won't get it wise every time. There will be many times when our parents inspire in our choice. We not align with your will. We ask for your forgiveness, Father. For when we fall short as parents, Bless the generations that have gone before us and the legacy and lesson they left for us to learn from. Help us to honor our parents, Abba Yahweh, and caregiver. Work a miracles in our mind to forgive those who have mistreated, oppressed, and abused us. We cannot do that in our own power, Abba Yahweh, nor can we see each other. As you see us, adjust a perspective daily to see and honor the people you have placed in our life, especially our fathers and mothers. Forgive us for criticizing them, baiting them, dishonoring them with our words and behavior. Help us to honor you, Abaya way. By all we honor them. And each other praise you for making a way for us, regardless of how we fall short. Your love is leveling and there is power if your name may be called on you always. My brothers and sisters, we are living on the society is put feed themselves. We are living on the situations men told you to call 911 for your parents. When according to Yahweh will, according to Yahweh commitment, said that to love your mother, honor your mother, respect your mother, be an obedient. No matter who you are today, it's because of your mother. If your mother does not carry you for nine months, you will never be who you are tonight. 
the position you are tonight is because of your mother. What is the importance of a mother? Why are we plans your mother to carry you for nine months? Why your mother choose to carry your plan, not to abort you, but to carry you in this earth? Your mother on you nothing. You on your mother. Because instead of Abayawe to carry you, Abayawe choose your mother to carry you nine months. Sometime over nine months. Do you know the value? Do you know the importance of your mother? If you know the importance of your mother, you must be respected, honored, and love your mother. So if you don't love your mother, how can you can love your wife? If you don't have no respect for your mother, how can you can respect your wife? If you're not honoring your mother, how can you can honoring your wife? My friends, tonight is about do you know the importance of a mother? Why it is in the fifth commandment? Why is on the old and the renew covenant to respect, to honor, and to love your mother and your father? If your mother was choose to abort it, just like some mothers, that's why they say, Mom, there is a difference to be a mom and a mother. There's a difference to be a daddy and a father. Most people today, they are mom, but they are not a mother. Most men today, they are dad, but they are not a father. Why? It takes a real man to be a father. It takes a real woman to be a mother. But it takes any good for nothing to be a father. It takes any good for nothing to be a mom, but it takes a real woman to be a mother, to care for a children. Mom today don't care about their children, how they live, what they're doing. They don't understand the meaning of a mother. They do not know the value of a mother. They do not know the importance of a mother. A mother is for life. Not even the disease, the past away. But a mother love can never be replaced by anyone. Just to carry you. Your wife cannot carry you and is wrong for nine months. But your mother did. No matter what you are today, you must know the importance of your mother by carrying you for nine months by breastfeed you, by give you all of the things she has. Sometimes she cannot sleep in the night just to watch over you, to be where you are today. And today you found your mother is too low for you. Your mother is uneducated enough to be your mother. You forget who gives you birth. My friends, no matter who you are today, you might be a king, you might be a president, you might be a governor, you might be a senator. No matter who you are today, you might be a good for nothing too. Your mother on you nothing. But by giving you life only, by bringing you into this world, you must know the importance, the value of a mother. Nobody can replace a mother love. Yahweh not choose your wife to carry you. He choose your mother. So there is an importance of a mother. You must know the value of your mother. You must know the value, the importance of your mother. Mother day is supposed to be every day. We are living on the system. We told you to call 911 for your mother. To 
call police upon your own mother when I buy away, choose your mother to carry you, to give you bread, to care for you, to be your caregiver, and to make you the way you are. Now you listen to the system to call 911 for your father and mother. You deserve to death. The scripture says anyone who disrespect or dishonor. The mother and father must be put to death. My beloved, tonight, it is a night to be appreciate what you get. Like people don't have the opportunity to know the mothers. You are. Why not love your mother? Honor your mother and respect them. That's the first ever Commitment with the promise. I barely say, if you love, respect it, and honor in your mother and your father, you will live a long life. But if you do not respect your mother and your father, your days and this life will be very, very short. Stop by listening to the system. Knowing the importance of your mother. It's not the system who carry you nine months. It's not the system who obey our plans to bring you into this world. You cannot listen to the system and to destroy your plans in your life. Your mother should be correct you when you do something wrong. Your mother must be chastised you. Your mother and father must be chastised you if you are doing something wrong. Your mother should be rebuked you if you are doing something wrong. It's for your good. It's because your mother loves you. But mom don't care. It take, as I say, it take a real woman. A real woman. I know some women working very hard two or three jobs to take care of the families not even they finish give you birth they give you life they take and care of you they see working hard to take and care of you do they deserve to respect it to honor and to be loving my friends it's a time to understand the meaning of a mother you own your mother because she bring you into this life. Your mother deserves to be respected. She care you nine months. When your father is in the bar, when your father is everywhere, but your mother is still home with you to take care of you. Who can compare to a mother love? Are you know the love of a mother. How many mothers can you have? A thousand? Two hundred? Perhaps? Five? No. But you can get five wives. You can get over 300 wives if you want to. Because those people don't live according to the word of Yahweh. But there's only one mother. There will never be two and three. My friends, the same system who told you to call 911 for your mother, instead of for them to tell you to respect them, to honor them, they make you break into the covenant by your way as met with you. And second thing, you curse by listening to them to call 911 for them who Yahweh was planning to carry you in this world. That's the reason why you see today, the young kids do not live a long life. Because they listen to the system. They don't respect, they don't love, and they don't honor the mothers. They treat their mother as a piece of choice. They talk to their mother anytime they feel like, because the system is to blame. The system is the one who caused it. The system is the one who send 
the people in the kindergarten to teach the children if your mother and your father even talk to you, call 911. Where is on the scripture say to call 911 for your parents? What Yahweh said in the fifth commandment? Do we say to honor them? Did Abayahweh tell you to honor and respect and love in your mother? That's the first commandment ever was a promise. If you obey the commandment of Yahweh, you will live a long life. But if not, your life will be very, very, very short. I don't care who you are. You will never be prospect in this life. Your life will be always upside down. You will always be on the darkness. You will always live in confusion. You will never live in sickness and disease. You will never be on joy. Nothing in this life. And nothing in this life to come. Because you carry two curses. By disrespect your creator coming. And by disrespect your mother and your father. My friends, you see today what's going on all over the world. Today, babies having babies, children having children. So they cannot be a mother. They are a mom. They don't care. If they get 50, they get 100. They just depend on the system to take care of them. They are not a mother. They are just a mom. A father always working hard. A mother always makes sure they provide for their children. Always working hard. Always have a two, three jobs. Always have something to do to take care of their children. Are you give any value to your mother? Are you respect what your mother doing for you? Not even she carry you as Yahweh plan? You know the importance of a mother? My friends, by obey one day, when the system create one day, institute one day in order to make fun of you, because you call 911, 364 days for your mother and your father. And one day, and the second, every second Sunday of the month of May, you celebrate Mother Day. That's hypocritical. You are a bunch of hypocrites. You all should be put to death, as the scripture said. You must honor your mothers and your fathers. That's the only one way to receive the blessing to live a long life. Whatever your mother sees, don't have no educations. Education came from men anyway. Whatever is your mother, do you have nothing to offer you? Just remember, she gives you life. It's not because your mother is not a beautiful woman. You're going to deny her because she don't feel like, she don't look like she's your mother. But she gives you birth. She's the one who makes you who you are today. Whatever the circumstances, she carry you nine months. Are you think about that? Are you know the importance of a mother? Why even Abayawi in his fifth commitment, after he finished talking about himself, he said to honor your mother, respect your mother and your father, and love them. For you might live a long life. My brethren, it is a time now to stop by listening to the system, to manipulate your own children, to destroy the family Abayawe was created to be together, to divide it. Remember, 2,000 years ago, Mr. Swai stated, the thief is coming not, but to steal and kill and destroy. But I, Yahshua Amashiach, I'm coming to give life to you. Not even life, but more and abundantly. 
if today you do not receive life the way Abel will prescribe it to you, it's because something is wrong with you. You need to do your homeworks. My friends, today Abel is say you must not follow the way of the pagan people. Why we follow the way of the pagan people? Proverbs 15, chapter verse 10 stated that whoever abandoned the right path wills surely discipline, but whoever hates corrections will die. So whoever Abandon the right path will be solely discipline. But whoever hates corrections will die. So if your mother doing something, let her correct you because of love. If you are doing something wrong, let your father discipline you instead of for a police. Instead of for the police to kill you, to beat you, or to put you in jail. I buy away say, those I love, I chastise them, I rebuke them, and I correct them. Just like an earthly father, discipline his own child. My beloved, Listen to your father's commitments. And listen to your mother's instructions. Tie them in your neck as a reminder. Do not forget to always be honor your mother, no matter what the circumstances. By care you, by not avoiding you, some more don't care. Whatever happened to you, they sleep, you can walk, they are today. You don't see mother anymore. You see mom. Because baby, heaven, baby, do not know the consequences, do not know the value of a mother. But I know the value of a mother. My mother was always there for me. She was not well educated. But I was respect her and love her by bringing me into this world. I was always admire the woman who bring me into this world. I was always love the woman who bring me into this world. I was always have a sympathy and compassion for the woman Yahweh planned. Well, me. But how many of you today who can choose to have the right spirit? No matter if your mother is poor or rich, if your mother is ugly or beautiful, if your mother is skinny or fat, what's wrong with that? She's your mother. What's wrong with you? You deny your mother because she not very well educated. You cannot talk to your mother because your mother don't look like your mother, but she's your mother. You might be thinking whatever you think. The more you think wrong, it's the more curse you're going to put in yourself. You know that, deal. I learned since I was a little boy to love my family. I'm not going up with my father, but I've gone up with my mother. She was my mother, she was my father, she was my best friend also. And I will go miles away because of the love of my mother. But today, what I see is very sad. It's very hurtful to see you are living on the system Instead of for them to teach their children the commitment of Yahweh to honor, to respect, and to love their mother, they tell them to call 911. Woe to you, these nations. 
Woe to you, your teachers of the laws who make the laws. Woe to you, the choice day of Yahweh will be at you one day. By making those kids, those innocent children, to disrespect the mother the way they are, to treat the mother as a piece of trash because of you, because of the system. My friends, as they say, one nation under God, yes, one nation under Satan. If there is one nation under Yahweh, why not teach the commitment of Yahweh? Why remove the commitment of Yahweh on the face of the innocent people we pay by safe sex? Why not teach them how to pray? Why remove prayer on the face of them? Why one nation under God? Yes, one nation under Satan, not under Yahweh. You have no respect whatsoever for Yahweh. You disrespect Yahweh in anywhere and everywhere. My friends, anyone or any country remove Yahweh and the life, this is it. That's the reason why the scripture says Babylon the Great is falling. Yes, it is falling. This country will become a habitation of demons. A case for every hate spirit. That's the reason why Abayahweh said, come out of her, my people. If you do not want to be particular in her sins and to share in her place. I think those leaders in this country, are you care for your mothers? You know the importance of a mother? Where you are today is because of your mother. But you can be a senator. You can be a president. You can be anything you want. But you choose to destroy the life of the others by putting the wrong choice, the wrong decisions. Call 911 for your parents. When your parents will give you educations to be a senator today, right? To be a governor. But those going to be good for nothing. When you send them to the shelter, they do everything. They become a good for nothing. That's why there is more than can see in this country and everywhere because of the system. There's a time for those who make the law to put back their commitments. To teach those kids how to pray and set up to teach them the wrong thing. Teach them the commitment of Yahweh. Teach them how to love, to serve, to honor the mother and the father instead of to call 911 for them. It is a time for those who are living in the United States of America to wake up before it's too late. Those people who are around the world, who have a mother, Knowing the value of your mother. Knowing the importance of your mother. No matter what the circumstances. Always love your mother. If you want to receive any blessing from your creator. Your mother do not carry you to bring you and this earth for no reason. This is Yahweh master plan. For your mother to carry you. It's not because your mother is not well educated for you to think your mother cannot be your mother. She is. Do not deny your mother because of the acceptance of this wicked world. Are you prefer to get the curse or you prefer to love your mother for who she is? Do not depend and what the system teach you. Rejected the system. And embrace the word of your creator. The system don't care about you. 
Remember, the thief is coming not but to steal, to kill and destroy. That's why the thief is coming for. Don't take in they are loving you because they make you against your parents. They make you against your creator. They put a curse. They make you make a curse on yourself by disobeying your creator. A mother always going to be a mother no matter what. Whatever you do to your mother, your mother will never sell you out. Whatever you're doing wrong to your mother, your mother going to always love you the same way. But a wife has a limit. A mother has no limit. Your wife going to forsake you. Your wife going to leave you. Your wife going to divorce you. But your mother will always be there for you no matter what. Knowing the value of a mother. Knowing the importance of your mother. Never reject your mother because of a woman. Remember, she's the one who carry Yahweh plan in your life. Remember, she play a big role in your life. Yes, Abba Yahweh say you're going to leave your mother and your father to go. To cleave to your wife, yes. But that don't, doesn't mean to disrespect them, to dishonor them, and to not loving them. Because your mother, she carry you. Your mother give you birth. Your mother taking care of you for where you are today. For who you become today because of your mother. The system of audacity. After the finish call you teach you 364 days a year to call 911 for your parents. To take you away to bring you to a shelter. To the foster parents who don't even care for you, who don't even know you, destroy your life. And then now they give you one day to celebrate Mother Day. Do you think this is not a deception? What do you think about what is going on? A Mother Day is supposed to be every day. When you love your mother, must be every second in your life. I enjoy my mother. How many of you was enjoy the mother? My mother passed away, she was 93. That's the only person I know in my life as a family was my mother. That's the only one family I was know after Yahweh. It was my mother. She gone. She accomplished her mission. But I still love her. Because Yahweh chose her to carry his plan. So I'm here today. As a messenger of Yahweh. Because Yahweh would choose my mother to bring me into this wicked world. He can use me to do his will. Love your mother. Do not listen to this system. Reject this system. It's hard. It's very hurtful. When I see what I see, I am a witness. To what is going on? When I was there, they was teach us to always, no matter what, respect and honor your mother. And now you're living on this system. We don't care about a family. We don't care about a mother. After they finish carry all the pens, 
They starting because they want to bring the child. Like the woman choose to abort them. Like the people try to use birth pain control. Like the woman try to use condom. They use all kind of protection men not to carry our plan. But if your mother carry our plan and her life, she deserves to be respected. Love your mother is not what she can give you. Just remember, she the one who carry our plans, give you life. After Yahweh is your mother. After Yahweh is your father. The scripture said to leave your mother and your father to go cleave to your wife, yes. But it's said but to honor them. Honor your mother and respect your mother. Because your mother is the one who prepare you, who feed you, and you can have a husband today, or you can get a wife today. Without your mother, what will you be today? Without your mother working hard and your father, who make together to make you who you are today, and to listen to this system, and to treat your mother for nothing, it hurt me. It's very hurtful. When you see we live in there's the senators. They respect the mothers. They love the mother. I don't think they're gonna call 911 for their parents. But they make you against your mother and your father. May our by our will judge them one day. May justice will be done. In the life of the innocent people who are losing their life because of this system. And I believe those who are left behind, make sure you teach your children, you correct them when they need to be corrected, you discipline them when they need to be disciplined, and you rebuke them when they need to. It's better to die for something and to live for nothing. Do not be afraid of dying for what you believe. Yahweh give you that right, that authority to correct it, to discipline, and to rebuke your child. And children, listen to your parents. Be obedient to your parents. And very careful to your parents. There will never be a second mother. There's a mother-in-law and father-in-law. There's always gonna be one, no matter what. It's a time now to acknowledge the value, the importance of the woman who carry Yahweh plan and her life. That's only one way to receive the blessing. Yahweh is not going to bless you if your parents doesn't bless you. Remember, always honor and love your mother. Teach the word of Yahweh to your children. You speak about the word of Yahweh when you sit down. And when you walk alone, When you are on the woods, when you are lay down, when you are get up. Why the God of Yahweh and the door push? And always remember to honor your mother and your father, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, no matter how tall you are, how big you are, how wish you are. And how poor you are, remember the value of your mother. 
It's not when the person is dying. You see, I love this person. Whatever you get to give a person a flower, give it now. Because when the person is dying, it's dying. To say a person you love him, it's not by a funeral that costs a million dollars, two million dollars to say you love. It's the time the person can see, can he hear. Tell the person, I love you. Make the person feel something, somebody, the one who gives you birth. The ones who carry out plans to be who you are today. Stop by listening to this system. And listen always to the word of Yahweh. May Abba Yahweh we bless all of you. No man above the law of Yahweh. Whatever they saw, they're gonna whip it. And meekness instructs those that oppose themselves. If Yahweh perhaps would give them the opportunity to repent and make them to the knowledge of the truth. May justice would serve one day. Abstain from all kind of evil. Mother days is evil. Direct your children into the right path. And womb, when they are older, they will not believe it. It's that students of and the way they should be go. And when even they get older, they will not be depart from the truth. Whoever thinks I commend you that you must observe. You must do whatever Abba Yahweh tells you. Do not add and do not take away from the words. May Abba Yahweh bless all of you. If you listen to the word of Yahweh, if you listen to the instructions of Abba Yahweh, is it time now to not listen to this system? Stop by listening to Satan. Satan has already made too much damages, too much pain and suffering into this world. I don't think we can afford to make more mistakes than that. The fifth commandment is to honor your mother and your father. It is with the promise for Yahweh will bless you and you will live a long life. May Abba will bless you and keep you. May Abba will keep his face shy upon you, be gracious to you. May Abba Yahweh be with all of you. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you for all those listeners, for all those viewers, for all those brethren and sisters, no matter where they are on the four corner of the earth, who listen to your message and to listen and meditate in your word day and night. To enter tonight in your sanctuary. No matter what the mistakes they will make it, I know if they ask you for forgiveness, I know you are a father of love who forgive the sin and inequities of those who are willing to be obedient to you. Uh, by the way, there is a lot of people who are afraid of the system. They don't want to go to jail. But tonight you send them message, stand for what they believe. Stand for what Abba uh, give you the authority. You will see, I chastise those I love. I rebuke those I love. If I can be here today, it's because Yahweh chastised me for seven years, pain and suffering. Just like an earthly father chastised and corrected and disciplined his own child. Abba Yahweh, may your will be done on earth. You see all things and you know nothing. 
I know gonna be justice only when you are coming back. But at the time, please deliver your people. The one you are choosing from the power of Satan, from the power of fear, from the power of deceptions, from the power of lies, from the power of misleading, in order to manipulate them and lie to them in order to have more control over them. Abaya way, I know the timing is clicking. I know you are appointed a time for everything under the sun. But Abaya way, please, those who honor you, honor you, honor them. Those who love you, love them. Those Abaya who glorify you, glorify them also. Those who love you, I know you are always going to love them because nothing in this world can separate the love you have for us. But our sin, our iniquity, you have been turning your back on us. Abayawi, tonight, I'm thanking you for your Sabbath, for your city part day, for the day you are city part because of me, for the day you are blessing because of me. For the day you are refreshed because of me. For the day you are because of me. I thank you for your study birthday. I thank you for the day you has made for me to be rejoiced. I don't know how others but as for me in my house, we will serve Yahweh. Choose tonight who you will serve, who you listen to, the system who are there to kill, steal and destroy, or are you gonna follow the one who can give you life, not even life, and abundantly. Abayawi, bless those who bless your ministries. All those who support your ministries, who donate it, who support it, whatever they are doing to help your ministries. I'm asking you, Abayawi, I don't pray to you. I'm asking you as your servant, as your messenger, to open up the paradise, all the windows in paradise, and shower the blessing to every single person who help your ministry and those your people who are scared away everywhere in the world can listen to your word in the name of Yeshua Amasiak. My friends, my virgins, my viewers, my listeners, may Abba Yahweh be with you. May Abba Yahweh bless you and keep you. May Abba will keep his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. May Abba will lift his continent upon you and give you shalom. Be shem Yahshua Hamashiach. In the name of Yahshua Hamashiach, say shalom. In the name of Yahshua Hamashiach, say shalom. In the name of Yahshua Hamashiach, say shalom. In the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. Prince of Peace. In the name of Yahshua, the name all Israel one day must be acknowledged is the only way to salvation. As Mr. Yahshua say, I am the way, I am the life, and I am the truth. No men, no men, no exceptions come to my father except through me. Those perhaps who take in GMX, Yawasi, Yawa, Adonai, Hashem, Buddha, Alai, God, Jehovah, Nisi, these can save you. Stop wasting your time. Yahshua is the only way. I am messenger Daniel. Until next time, Shalom Alehem.
Shabbat Shalom. May Abba Yahweh bless every single of you and win you your new week and bless you and guard you and lead you in the protections of your Savior, Yeshua Amashiach. I see you next time. May Abba Yahweh peace be with you. So how is you? Shabbat Shalom. May Abba Yahweh peace be with all of you. Shalom.